Hi children, in this section, I, we will just see how to solve exercise 4a. So, already we have discussed the divisibility rule of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9 and 10. Now, look at the first question. Circle the numbers. First one, divisible by 2. So, they have given 5 numbers. Out of these 5 numbers, which are divisible by 2, you have to circle. So, what's the divisibility rule of 2? The last digit must end with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. So, you have to just check the 1's place digit, whether it is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. So, when we check the first number, it's 11. So, 1's place digit is not ending with as per the divisibility rule of 2. So, this is not divisible by 2. Go for the next number, it's 24. So, since the last digit, that is 1's place digit is 4, we can say it is divisible by 2. So, I have circled this number. Next it is 38. Again, here also the 1's place digit is 8. That means it is divisible by 2. So, I have circled it. The next number is 49. 49's 1's place digit is 9. That is not divisible by 2 or it is not up to the divisibility rule of 2. So, we cannot divide 49 by 2 completely. So, we should not circle this number. The next number is 160. Look at the last one. Sorry, 160. So, in the ones place digit we have 0. That means it is divisible by 2. So, I have circled it. So, the numbers are 24, 38 and 160 which are divisible by 2 in this set of numbers. Look at the second question, B1. We need to circle the numbers which are divisible by 5. So, divisibility rule of 5. What is divisibility rule of 5? Last digit must end with 0 or 5. So, look at the first number. It's 51. Its last digit is not 0 or 5. So, it is not divisible by 5. Go for the next number, 75. Yes, its last digit is ending with 5. So, it is divisible by 5. So, I have circled it. Go for the next number. It's 37. Its once place digit is 7. So, it is not divisible by 5. Now, 190. So, the once place digit is 0. That means it is this number 190 is divisible by 5. So, I have circled it. The last number is 300. 300's once place digit is ending with 0. That means this number is divisible by 5. So, I have circled it. So, the numbers which are divisible by 5 are 75, 190 and 300 in this list. Now, look at the C question. We have to find out the numbers which are divisible by 10. So, the divisibility rule of 10 is the once place digit or the last digit must be ending with 0. So, when we cancel the first number, 90. The ones place digit is 0, so it is divisible by 10, so I have circled it. Look at the next number 63. 63 is ones place digit is 3. The last digit is not 0, so it is not divisible by 10. Next is 25. 25 means last digit is 5. That means it is not divisible by 10. Next number 200. Ones place digit is again 0. That means it is divisible by 100, so I have circled it. Then it is 101. 101 the ones place digit is 1. So, that means it is not divisible by 10. Now, in the first question, again we have D, E, F and G. These questions you can solve by yourselves. Now, here I am discussing the second question. Complete the table. The first one is already done for you. The same thing. A number is given. Whether it is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9 and 10, they are checking. And if it is, they are ticking it. If it is not divisible, now they are just crossing it. So, the first one is already done. We are going for the second one. The second number is 79. So, we are... So, when we consider 79, whether it is divisible by 2, we have to check the divisibility rule of 2 with 79. So, 9 is the last digit, one's place digit. So, it is not divisible by 2. I have crossed it. Now, I have to check whether 79 is divisible by 3. So, what is the divisibility rule of 3? Yeah, first we have to add the digits in the number. That is 7 plus 9. That is 16. 16 is not divisible by 3. Or 16 doesn't come in the table of 3. So, 79 is also not divisible by 3. So, I have crossed it. Now, we have to check the divisibility of 4 in 79. So, we have to check the last two digits of this number. Whether it is divisible by 4. That is 79 is divisible by 4 we have to check or either it has to be two zeros at the last place 
since here it is not zeros and it's a two digit number we have to divide 79 by 4 and see whether it's a complete division so when you divide 79 by 4 it will not be a complete division complete division in the sense reminder will not be zero so this is also not divisible by 4 then we have to check the divisibility of 5 in the number 79 so check the last digit so last digit is not 0 not even 5 also so 79 is not divisible by 5 also so I have just crossed it over here now check whether 79 is divisible by 6 so the divisibility rule of 6 is 79 must be divisible by 2 and 3 so check over here it is not divisible by 2 that's why we have crossed it over here and even it is not divisible by 3 that means it is not divisible by 6 also that then look at the next we have to check whether 79 is divisible by 9 again the same divisibility rule of 3 we have to add the digits 7 plus 9 7 plus 9 is 16 16 is it divisible by 9 or whether 16 do we have in the table of 9 no so that means 79 is not divisible by 9 also at last it is we have to check using 10 whether it is divisible by 10 so divisibility rule of 10 is the last digit must be 0 so here the ones place digit is 9 so that means 79 is not divisible by 10 so just cross it so I have completed for one number I'll explain one more number that is 98 so check the divisibility rule of 2 the last digit is 8 that means 98 is divisible by 2 so you can tick it now check the divisibility rule of 3 9 we have to add the digits 9 plus 8 is so 17 is not divisible by 3 that doesn't comes in the table of 3 so we can cross it so now when we check the divisibility rule of 4 the last two digit must be divisible by 4 here since it is a two digit number this 98 we have to divide by 4 and see so when you divide by 4 and see it is not a complete division that is the reminder is not 0 so it is not divisible by 4 now 5 when we consider the last digit is not even 0 and not 5 also so 98 is not divisible by 5 so it is you have to cross then 6 so we have to check whether it is divisible by 2 and whether it is divisible by 3. So when we check 98 is divisible by 2 but it is not divisible by 3. Right. So that means 98 is not divisible by 6. So we can cross it over here. Then check the divisibility rule of 9 for 98. We have to add the digits. So 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 is not there in the table of 9 or 17 is not divisible by 9. That means 98 is also not divisible by 9. So cross it then last 10 so 10's divisibility is we have to check the last digit it is not 0 it is 8 that means 98 is not divisible by 10 so cross it so i hope you all have understood how to check this it is just using the divisibility rule of these numbers given there now here again you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 these six questions you have to complete by yourself and in the first question also whatever I said the four questions you have to complete. So complete this meet you all in the next section. Thank you children.